Hello everyone, this is a video about neuropathic pain. Uh, I'm going to read the question here. So it says, I live in the UK, my partner suffers with terrible neuropathic pain. Which type of specialist or consultant would you recommend that could help with the therapies and injections that I mentioned? Um, this comment was on a video where I talked about um, different injections and other therapies for neuropathic pain. Um, and also, can you write them down so I can look them up? So fair enough. Um, so I don't remember exactly what I talked about in that video. Um, I don't have the six to eight minutes to spare to read or watch through the video. So I'll just, I figured I'd just post another video about neuropathic pain and uh, that way I'll have it in the title and be easy for folks to search on YouTube or whatever, uh, wherever people might look for videos. Um, so uh, thank you for the question. Um, and I, yeah, sorry to hear about your partner and I, I hope that they're feeling a lot better um, ASAP. Um, neuropathic pain is awful. I have never suffered from it in a you know really meaningful way, maybe just acutely from sports injuries or something like that, but I've treated a lot of patients with chronic neuropathic pain and I understand it's just really, really awful. It can be torturous. So uh, yeah, sorry to hear about that. Um, as per usual, nothing I'm saying should be construed as medical advice. This is for informational purposes only. If you need medical advice, please talk to your healthcare provider to get that advice. So um, the, as far as therapies for neuropathic pain go, um, it, it really depends on the uh, nature of the pain, where it's located, uh, the factors that revolved around or, or that were um, the factors that led up to the development of that neuropathic pain. Um, if it's a you know trauma-induced neuropathic pain, so a person had a motor vehicle accident, they had uh, some type of you know major you know laceration. It could have been a um, sort of a, a, a say surgery-induced trauma. So I've had some patients where they just get a say arthroscopy of their knee. You know they have the um, scope that goes in kind of to diagnose things or maybe to clean up like some torn meniscus or something like that. And then the patient's left with chronic pain afterwards, chronic neuropathic pain afterwards, um, because it just happened to, you know, irritate some of the nerves in the area and the things just went wrong and, and now they have chronic pain. So um, if it's kind of a trauma induced issue, um, one of the most common things that I've seen to be helpful in clinical practice is something called, um, what is it called? It's called perineural injection therapy, where I slipped up there is because it was originally called neural prolotherapy, which is completely different than neurotherapy, completely different than prolotherapy. Um, it's a different therapy that's called, was called neural prolotherapy. And then the doctor who developed it, Dr. John Liftoff uh, from New Zealand, um, he, uh, I guess, eventually changed it to perineural injection therapy because everyone was just really confused by the name. Um, so perineural injection therapy um, can be very, very helpful. I've, I've done thousands of injections um, of this and with my patients over the course of time. It can be incredibly helpful for neuropathic pain if it's kind of trauma-induced. If it's non-trauma-induced, if it's induced by, um, say, you know, chronic Lyme disease or mold illness or heavy metals or something that's causing an internal um, irritation of the nerves, um, the perineural injection therapy can still be helpful, um, but it's less likely to be indicated, especially if it's super widespread pain. You're like, how the heck are we going to inject every square inch of this person's body? So if it's regional and especially if it was trauma induced or you know, rated, uh, related to some type of um, orthopedic injury, then that's something that um, could could uh, perineural injection therapy would be near the top of the list of something to assess for. Now for a clinician who knows how to assess for this is an indication. It's just a really easy physical exam. You're looking for these superficial tender points along different nerve pathways. Um, and so it's a you know quick kind of non-invasive test that can be done to see if this is indicated. Now, um, whether it's uh, a trauma-induced or like you know, injury-induced pain, neuropathic pain, or it's systemic from you know, Lyme or mold or something like that, um, another therapy that uh, we've been using more and more at our clinic is intravenous lidocaine therapy. Um, actually posted a, a kind of a two-part video about this um, on I mean, all the social media platforms that I'm on, uh, but it's easiest to search on YouTube, I think. Um, so if you just search my name, Brian Raid, Lidocaine, um, that should come up. Um, and so uh, the intravenous lidocaine is really the solution to, you know, I've got all this neuropathic pain here, there, and everywhere. I can inject every square inch of this person's body. So let's do an IV of this lidocaine, and um, that way we can try to saturate all those nerves as much as possible. Um, so we've seen some really great results at our clinic with IV lidocaine. Um, it's now kind of my like you know um, ace up my sleeve, so to speak. If a patient comes in with a lot of diffuse neuropathic pain, definitely is something to consider trying. There are some uh, medications and heart conditions and things like that that preclude a person from having IV lidocaine, but any clinician who is familiar with it would know about those contraindications. You just have to talk to your healthcare provider to learn more about that. Um, so the um, yep, uh, 
perineural injection therapy or um, the intravenous lidocaine are a couple of things to consider. Um, one therapy that um, unfortunately I don't have in my scope of practice here in Nova Scotia, but um, other clinicians do in their scope, uh, like medical doctors or um, in some province, uh, some uh, provinces here in Canada or states in the U.S. or I don't know what the rules are like in other parts of the world, um, but some naturopathic doctors have the ability to do um, intravenous ketamine um, therapy. So that's another option to maybe consider. I just don't know nearly as much about that because I'm not able to use it and not many of my patients um, have accessed it over the course of time. Um, so just something else to have on one's radar. Um, and then there are, <clears throat> if, if there is more of a sy uh, systemic issue um, with the neuropath, if it's more of a widespread neuropathic pain that's related to some systemic issue like a chronic infection or heavy metals or mold or something like that, um, then it, I'm sure it goes without saying, but uh, finding and addressing the root cause of why there's that systemic issue in the first place, it, uh, that systemic neuropathic pain in the first place is really important. So, you know, um, testing for and finding and getting rid of the heavy metals or testing for and, you know, getting rid of the mold or the chronic infections um, is something that can reduce uh, and relieve neuropathic pain as well. Um, to help get the nerves moving in the right direction faster. Um, in my practice, I'll oftentimes prescribe a combination of R plus alpha lipoic acid, um, acetyl L-carnitine and methyl B12. Um, as per usual, unfortunately, I can't give out any dosages on social media because that could be construed as medical advice, even if I say it's not medical advice. Um, so I, I can't get into dosages. You have to talk to a clinician about those, um, but those can be helpful. I've had some patients where I've done very well with one or more of those supplements, and then I've had a bunch of patients where the pain's just been so bad, those supplements just don't really touch it. So I kind of look at them as a um, adjunct to the other therapies. Um, but in my experience, a lot of cases, I would say a, a significant majority of cases of neuropathic pain can um, improve with treatment. Like improvement is very, very common. In terms of full resolution, I've seen that in many cases as well. It just really depends on what's driving the underlying issues. Um, there are other therapies um, to address the underlying issues that maybe I didn't mention here, but those are just some of the more common ones. Um, if the person asking the question wants to post a little bit more detail, I mean, you may not want to give out that much information on social media about your partner, um, but you know, we're all friends here, um, but uh, it, you know, if you want to provide a little bit more detail about the history and maybe what led up to it, I can maybe comment a little bit more. Of course, just generally for informational purposes only, um, but I might be able to um, provide a little bit more information around like, oh, it, it was uh, due to a you know post-physical trauma issue or like, no, no, it seems to be related to a mold exposure, then maybe I can get into a little bit more detail. So um, I'll, I'll do my best. There's lots of questions to answer. I appreciate everyone posting questions. Also appreciate posting the comments. I try to keep up with the comments just to say, you know, thank you and whatnot, but there's just a lot of videos and a lot of comments. So again, I appreciate that. Um, please continue to post the comments. It makes me feel good to see that. It tells me that people are actually watching the videos and getting something out of it. So I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I do, you know, screen for the questions as well. So if I don't uh, acknowledge your comment, please don't take it personally. Um, I, again, really do appreciate them and um, just yeah, do my best to get to them as, as much as I can. Um, so uh, with that being, uh, with, with all that being said, I will leave it there for now. If you have any questions or comments on this topic, post in the comment section below or questions about anything else, post in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to it as soon as I can.